You hear a lot about jobs going overseas, manufacturing and other kinds of vocations no longer existing in the U.S. and companies not creating jobs here. Well, we found a town in Michigan, Saginaw, Michigan, where the largest employer is the city of Beijing. They bought up a 104-year-old unit of General Motors, and they're the biggest private employer in Saginaw. They're also hiring. I asked the mayor about how this was received and whether he sees this as a landmark deal. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's it's a landmark deal because if if someone hadn't stepped up to buy it, there's a very real possibility the company would have simply dissolved. Mm -hmm. And that not only would have been bad for Saginaw as a community, it would have been bad for the automotive industry just because of how important Next Tier is as, as an innovator in, in technology. Um, next year, it, it, the company there that, that was purchased, the industrial operation that creates these, these car parts. Um, yes. I want to ask you there, though, because what was the experience like of having it be known that this small town is now, you know, so many jobs, so much of the economy is supported by essentially the city of Beijing? I mean, did you feel a real protectionist sentiment? Was this well received by the community? What was it like? There's there's mixed feelings. Obviously, uh, there's, there are people who who do have a protectionist sentiment. Um, I think overwhelmingly the business community um, and and most of the local government officials are very excited about it. Partly because uh, you know it's it's protecting jobs. It's jobs that would otherwise be going away. But partly because we know what it represents for next year. Uh, you, you know, the, the largest the, fa the fastest growing automotive market in the world is China. Mm -hmm. There are 80 different companies making cars in China, and this kicks open a door to tremendous growth for a, you know, a, a company that's based in Saginaw. You know, Dennis Berman wrote about this story first, and, and he quoted a lot of you know, union workers and uh, local members of the community who personally felt like uh, it, it was wrong to sell out you know, a company that is so important to the identity uh, of Michigan, of your town, to China. I mean, how do you quiet those concerns about transfer of technology and the like? Well, I, I think the first thing, you know, because I've, I've seen the comments, too, that, you know, they're going to take Delphi's 2,000, or well, Delphi next year's 2,000 patents, put them in a briefcase, take them to China, and that'll be the end of it. But, you know, th the real value in next year isn't the 2,000 patents that they already have. It's the 2,000 patents that they haven't done yet that are still in the heads of their engineers. Uh, it, it's very much a technology and talent company, and, and that technology and talent is, is what really creates the value both for Saginaw and for uh, PCM. So I, I think that, that knowing that, you know, those, th those engineers that are going to come up with those, that next generation of ideas won't fit in that briefcase to go to Beijing is, is kind of an anchor for us that, that says, you know, this is a relationship that's probably going to last for quite a while. But the, you know, and the other side of it is that it, it's a changing world and mm -hmm. we're not just an American economy anymore. And no. we have to, you know, it, difficult as it is to accept, that's, that's kind of the, the game that we have to play now. Be sure to watch In Business on Monday. We're going to have Nobel laureate Ned Phelps on. He's a professor at Columbia University, and he's talking about what the new normal of unemployment is. Get ready for it to stay high.